hello everyone welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome i hope you enjoy this channel today i want to share with you a vital clue or a vital secret on what you can do to make your prayers and fasting effective what you can do to make your prayers and your fast be heard by god listen there is something that we christians are missing in the kingdom of god it's seed sowing or helping people you can sow seed in several ways you can sow seed in a form of money food clothing shelter or whatsoever you can your time your knowledge your wisdom your talent god giving talent you can use that to sow a seed in the kingdom of god or to sow a seed in the situation in which you are seeking god for a supernatural turnaround guys i want to take you to the book of matthew 25 when you read from the verse 30 it talks it talks about when god was um separating the sheep from the goat and he's, he did say to the sheep that when i was hungry you fed me when i was naked you gave me clothes to wear when i was in a prison you came to visit me and the other say and they and they asked god when had to do this and we didn't do it he said whatsoever you do for man you do it for me so guys seed sowing is is incredibly so important we need to see sow a seed in the house of god in the presence of god for god to use that for supernatural turnaround let me go uh, take you back to a farmer or uh, somebody who is cultivating a crop before you farm or before you you expect a, a, a bountiful yield you have to sow a seed and that seed goes on to the fertile ground you sow a seed and you expect a supernatural harvest you expect a bountiful harvest no farmer sows and not expect a harvest i think the book of a book of genesis is it chapter 6 or chapter 8 talks about time to sow and a time to reap when you sow you have to harvest guys when you see somebody on the street and you know oh my god this person's condition is 10 times worse than mine you you offer them a hot meal guys you've answered their prayers you have no idea they take that food they eat they say, god god bless you god bless you god bless you that's what they keep telling you when they have what they are expecting god to give them they say god bless you god bless you god bless you you think those words that they are altering you, you fall to ground bear no god will hear that and that's a, exactly god is expecting you a child of god to do give somebody warm food to eat give somebody a warm cloth to wear give somebody a comfortable cloth to wear give somebody water to drink i know now we live in a very wicked world that is quite difficult to bring a stranger to your home but if you can afford something for the person to sleep somewhere else for you to have your safety and they have their comfort my dear god will never pass you by god will never pass you by god will never say oh wait no god will never see you crying calling upon his name god help me god help me god help me when there was a project I work, um, sorry, there was a project in church. The church is raising funds for a change of roof, for a change of windows, for redecoration, for, for something to be done in the, in the house of God. And you can physically give some money out. My dear, don't let that opportunity pass you by. Take whatever money you have, whether one pound, one dollar, one shilling, one run, which, one euro, whichever currency you have at all take it and put it in an envelope and pray over that money say god this is a seed i'm sowing in my life the father as this project is ongoing so will my situation change so will i have a testimony to glorify your name and leave that seed in the in the offering bowl and walk back and sit in your chair and see keep fasting keep praying and see the, the move of god upon your life Guys, I have got so much testimony come to seed sowing. People ask me, why, why do you always pray and fast and you have answers? My secret is seed sowing. One thing I have 
I've been trying to do a video on, but something keeps holding me back. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. And I'm not going to do it because I don't want anybody to think I'm showing off. No, that is not my purpose. That is not my purpose at all. I'm only here to encourage people, to, to give people a, a bit of a push, to encourage them, uh, motivate people, so we can serve God the right way. Anytime I fast, at the end of every fast, I donate food to the food bank. I donate food to the food bank. I go to the shop, buy food like oil, rice, pasta, pasta sauce, mac, mac and cheese sauce. I buy uh, wipes. I buy baby oil, baby wash, baby wipes. Yeah, that's very important for any mother who walk into the food bank for, for to, to, to ask for um, some essentials to keep her, her, herself and the baby. Whatever I can afford, I go to the shop, buy it, and I just donate it in the shop because um, the, my closest shop has got a donation point when you come to the shop and you have anything to donate to the food bank you just drop it there so I just fill my my cart up or my trolley up and pay for it when I finish I empty everything into that um, donation spot then I walk and whilst I'm walking I say God as I have done please do my for me too because this is what you expect me to do but I have done mine but I do yours too Listen, I always go into contract with God and I remind God of the contract I have with him. I remind God that he said he's a promise keeper, he's a way maker, he's a covenant keeper. Father, you expect me to give, to bless people. You expect me to put clothes onto people. You expect me to, to help. But I've done my bit. I need your presence in my situation that I'm going to. God, I need your presence in any difficult situation that I'm walking through. That it, it doesn't seem to stop. But the Father, I know that you will move for me. Through this seed, let it be a supernatural move. Through this thing that I've given here, let it be a change. Let it be a testimony. That is my secret. And not that alone. If somebody messages me and I can afford it, medicine for help, and I can, I give the little I have. I give the little I have. You have no idea. Look, this world is a very evil and very cruel world that we live in. You may be walking on the same street that people, someone, someone is plotted evil against you. But God will divert your way. Or just God, God will just distract you. Don't go this way. Or, oh, I've forgotten something. I have to rush back home to check it. God is just preventing you from what the enemy is plotted against you on that street. Your children, your husband, your wife, your aunties, your mother, your father, your entire family, your entire ministry, your entire church. You have no idea what God is saving you from through a seed that is given unto you. When you see a child on the street, and you see this child is meant to be in school, but this child is on the street selling, you ask the child, why are you here? In a very sweet and lovely manner, so the child doesn't feel offended or ashamed. Because it's not the child's fault that they are there. So you ask him, or the, him or her, the child, why are you not in school? In a nice way. And if you find out because of school fees, if you can help, my dear, invest in that child. If you don't know what that child is going to be. And let me so, believer, when you sow a seed in that child, do not expect anything to come from that child to you. Don't expect anything back. God just use you as an instrument to answer that child's prayer or the mother of that child's prayer. Because maybe the mother is in praying for a helper to locate the child for help. So if God has used you as an instrument to help that family, do not expect anything back from that family. Expect your reward back from the source. God is the one that will reward you back. Don't expect your... Your, your, your reward from human beings or wherever you sow that seed do not expect it back God is a source of everything you know Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 said the Lord will provide all my needs all that needs is not food alone it's not shelter it's not it's not material things God will provide all your needs your health your happiness your joy that marriage that you're crying for that marriage that you're seeking God for that promotion that job that you are calling on God to give you favor for a job the lord will supply all your needs your need is inclusive of everything that you're asking god for so i'm going to encourage you guys whatsoever you are seeking god for please sow a seed in that case sow a seed in the presence of god sow a seed and god would not pass you by guys i'm going to end this video here and i'm going to encourage you whatsoever you have give unto God. Your time in ministry, if they need people to go for evangelism and you have the time, please get involved. If they need money in the presence of God, 
to do any project in the kingdom of God, please contribute. If you see a family who is needy, who is struggling, and you have the means to help, please sow a seed in that family. You have no idea God is going to use that seed to help you for. God will help you in mysterious ways. God will turn situation around that you will marvel. You ask yourself, wow, so this is the God that I serve. A God of miracle, a God of signs and wonders. Hey guys, if I tell you some of my testimony through seed sowing, I will, we will not finish uh, this, this um, video. There is power in seed sowing. Bible says there is a seed time, or it's the time for sowing and a time to harvest. Sow a seed in your situation. Sow a seed in the trouble that's waving at you. Sow a seed in the marriage that you are God for. Sow a seed in the situation that you are battling. Sow a seed in the sickness that you are, the healing, that the sickness that is bothering you and you are seeking God for healing. Let God have mercy on that seed and see what happens. Guys, this is not a joke. Ask any man of God or anybody in ministry who believes in seed sowing and see what happens. Sow a seed, fast and pray, and you see miracles. You see signs and wonders. You have testimony. You, your book <laughs> will not even contain it anymore because your testimonies will be too much to write. Try it. If it works, please come back and give a testimony. And I know it will work because that God that I said, the God that I said, does not fail to seed sowing. Sow your seed fast Pray and give glory to God and expect a reward from God. Not where you sow the seed. Expect a reward from God. Shalom, guys. I love you all. And if you're new to this channel and you like what I do, you like what you've just seen, please do subscribe to the channel and like, subscribe. Please share the, the video on if you like it. I may not be for everybody, but certainly I am for somebody. If 200 people watch this video and the video saves somebody, the video touches somebody, the video turns somebody's situation around, I think that is the reason why God directed me to do this video. This video may not be for everybody, but may bless somebody. One single soul, that is enough for me because that is what the Lord is asking me to do. Even one person is blessed with this video. Victory in the kingdom of God for me. Shalom everyone. I love you all and take care of yourself. Bye.